Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ashok. Today in this video, we will see how you can call Apex class method in Data Raptor. When we work with Omni Studio, we generally use Data Raptor to fade and save data into Salesforce database. Now the question is, where we require to call Apex class method in Data Raptor? Because we use Data Raptor to fade data from Salesforce database. Okay, so let's take an example. Let's say you want to perform calculation on rows or you want to uh, apply a formula on the records which you are getting from the data raptor. So uh, to apply the formula and uh, do the calculation, uh, we have this formula tab. In this formula tab, you can add whatever uh, predefined formulas are available by this uh, Salesforce like min max sum and concat but let's say you have a unique requirement that cannot be fulfilled by the predefined formulas in that case what you can do you can create a apex class method and you can implement your logic in that method and at last you can call that method over here in the data raptor so in this video i will show you how you can create a method that can be called in data raptor for the sake of this video, I already have created this uh, data raptor. Over here, I am selecting all the available accounts from my org and I am selecting only ID and name over here. And let me click on execute over here. So you can see over here, I'm uh, getting all the accounts name and ID. But let's say I also want to select the count of all the selected accounts and for that I'm going to create a apex class method and I will call that method in with the help of formulas so let me quickly open my developer console over here you can see I already have created a class data raptor helper and this class is going to implement callable interface and in this interface we have a method call and two parameters action and arguments so action is the method name whatever method we are going to call and um, in arguments we have input parameters output and actions so you can see over here i have extracted all these uh, arguments over here now I'm going to create, uh, call another method that is invoke method and I'm passing all the parameters from here. Now in this method, I'm checking um, method name, like which method you want to call. So I want to call get total accounts count and over here, I'm extracting all my past uh, data uh, from input and uh, storing them into list of objects. And I'm adding result into output parameter and I'm storing argument size. I mean, uh, what all accounts I have sent as a parameter and I'm, I'm passing size from here. You can write whatever logic you want to write in this method over here. And at last, you can pass your output like this uh, in a result key as uh, Per my requirement i just want to pass the count so i have just uh, uh, written the size of list in your case you can write any logic okay so this is how i have created a class by implementing callable interface and um, in callable interface we have a call method and over here you can um, check which method you want to call so this is a predefined structure of um, callable interface. We need to follow this one. And let's say you want to call, uh, you want to um, call another method also from the data raptor, then you can write over here with the else if, okay. But now for now, I'm going with only one. Now let's see in data raptor, how you can call this method. So in the, um, uh, formulas 
let me uh, use function formula over here so i will uh, firstly i will add class name over here so let me quickly copy that one data raptor helper then as a second parameter i will pass method name then method name is get total accounts count and now input parameter what i uh, like what i want to send uh, to that method so i want to send all the accounts so i'm specifying accounts over here okay so this is how you can um, call your apex class method in data raptor with the help of function formula so over here i'm passing a class name and over here method name and over here i'm passing uh, input parameters in my case i want to send all the accounts so i have passed accounts over here and uh, in formula result path let me type total accounts or you can say total count so now i have specified the path over here now in the output section i need to add this one so i can get it in the uh, preview tab so let's say account no uh, this will be in root so total count okay so this is how i have added in this total count key so in in, in the a current JSON path you can see I will get total count over here like this and then after I will see all the accounts list so let's see in the preview let me click on execute okay so like you can see over here um, total count is 19 okay so this is how you can call your apex class method in data raptor okay so guys that's it for this video I will upload this uh, class on github and uh, will paste the url in the description so you can take reference from there and if you have any concern and doubt regarding that please do let me know in the comments i'll definitely reply on that and please subscribe my youtube channel this will really motivate me to create more videos thank you so much bye bye